Hey, I'm Dusty, friends call me Moose, I'm the dude behind CameraTips.com, and in this video, I wanna share with you a really simple recipe for taking portraits on the Sony A6000. Now I'm gonna be running through a bunch of in-camera settings, so feel free to pause this video. I'll also include the settings down in the description below in case you wanna follow along that way as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing that we're gonna do is rotate the mode dial to the letter A. This is aperture priority mode. And in this mode, we have full control over the aperture. The aperture allows us to control depth of field. Now, what we wanna do in this mode is select the lowest possible aperture F number. And by doing so, we're going to make the depth of field shallower. So it's gonna allow our subject to be sharp and the background to be blurry. Now, in order to do that, all we have to do is rotate this dial on top of the camera. So if I rotate this dial, uh, to the right, you'll see how it, it selects a higher aperture F number. So what we wanna do is go the other way. We wanna select the lowest possible aperture F number. Now, that number is gonna be dependent on your lens. With the kit lens, the lowest aperture varies depending on how much zoom is applied. So you'll see here, I can go all the way down to F 3.5, but if I zoom in, you'll see now that the lowest possible aperture is F 5.6. Now, ideally, you want to kind of be around f1.8 or lower when taking portraits in order to get that three-dimensional pop. A really popular lens for that is the Sony 35mm f1.8 and the Sony 50mm f1.8. I'll go ahead and put links down in the description below in case you want to check those lenses out. All right, so let's go ahead and jump to the next step. What we want to do now is on the back of the camera, go ahead and press the ISO button. And here, what we wanna do is set our ISO to auto, all right? Next, what we're gonna do is press the FN button to bring up our function menu. And we're gonna go up here to the metering mode and make sure that our metering is set to multi. All right, next, we're gonna jump back into the function menu and we're gonna come over here to focus mode and set this to AFC continuous. Then back into the function menu we're gonna come over here to focus area, and we're gonna set this option to wide, all right? And one more time into the function menu, we're gonna come over here to white balance. And here you've got a decision to make. If you're taking pictures outside and it's mostly sunny or partly sunny, I would just stick with auto. However, if you are in shade or under heavy cloud cover, or maybe you're taking pictures inside, then I would go ahead and come down here and find the appropriate preset for the type of light that you're shooting under. One more final step that I'd like to do is jump into the menu and we're gonna come up to this very first tab over to page five and then come down to smile face detect. Here we wanna turn this option on. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna aim it here at my mug that has a face on it. I'm gonna half press the shutter and you'll see how there is a now a green box around the subject's face. So as I move my camera around or get closer or farther away, the subject's face stays in focus as long as I half press the shutter button. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna take a selfie. We'll just go ahead and take a shot so you can see how this looks. So here we go. Now, if you're still trying to figure this camera out, maybe you're unsure of which settings to use, I actually just released a set of really simple cheat sheets for the Sony A6000 that show you the exact settings I use in really common scenarios like portraits, sports, landscapes, and more. You can kind of think of them like recipes. I'll show you the shooting mode, the exposure settings like aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. I'll also go over the autofocus modes I use depending on the subject or scene. So if you're interested in checking those out, I'll put a link down in the description below. Until next time, Thanks for watching, catch you later.